Now on Mad Max here with a little update on my Prusa Mandel. I am sorry that's the last video and it's uh, abruptly. I was actually using a second SD card, right? I was recording on a second SD card. And this SD card works. I tried it before. But for some reason, this time it didn't. However, this is my machine as of now. You guys said you wanted uh, to see an update. Here is the update. Um, so everything is working now. Right, the mechanics are working. You see that I switched the table to a different material, the print bed, because the material I used before was total crap. This is actually multiplex. I'm using two different multiplex sheets. Uh, this sheet down here is three millimeter, uh, three millimeter multiplex. Uh, that's okay. It bends quite heavily, but since the bearings, uh, since the distance from the bearings to the screw right here is only like probably an inch or two centimeters right um, bending is not that big of an issue bending is however an issue for the print bed so I've used 6.5 millimeter multiplex for that if it turns out to be too heavy and I don't think that it is too heavy um, I might have to switch it later on well however this video is not completely useless there's actually something that I did completely different right um, and that was the X carriage. I was trying to put the X carriage on, and, and the way you should do it is you put those two smooth rods on right here, and then you put the X carriage in between and move this part right here to the side until it snaps in, right? However, I wasn't able to move this part here at all. I tried Teflon spray and everything, and I wasn't able to do it. And I actually broke a part of this piece while trying it, right? So that, that will be the first part I will have to print out. Um, it's not completely broken, so it will, will still work. It's just, um, it's not so great, right? And what I did is that I figured out, hey, I could just remove this rolled side, the Z-motor holder and the clamp down here. I can just remove it completely, right? If I put a second nut here, I can then actually, um, move the Z-motor holder on the x-axis freely to every position I like so I don't have to to move this part anymore right I just clip this part in put it down and then clip the complete side in well that's it we see us again when I actually get all my electronics and I will assemble the electronics and and actually, I've already have a pretty good idea how to calibrate the steps per millimeter. A pretty easy and straightforward idea. Uh, we will let, we will see if it works out. If if it does work out, I will make a video of it because it's. I, I find the ways that you calibrate your steps by millimeter that are out there a little bit awkward. They're just not really straightforward, and I think it's, it's it doesn't have to be that complicated. There is a very easy way you can do it, and you only need to calculate one thing. So, alright, that's Mad Max tuning off for today. Thank you for watching this pretty useless video.